Hey there, everyone. Welcome to Game Vine. My name's David Earls, and on this segment of Spice Up Your Life, we're going to do two Spice Bites. And the theme of the Spice Bites is going to be, it takes a game to make a game. If you have all four of these games, you'll be able to do these two Spice Bites. So, here we go. These two games are required as ingredients for this small spice bite. Go, got one, go. And double 12 color dot Mexican train dominoes. Hmm. And the reason why we're even spicing this up at all is so we can make use of this thing. Why do we get this? Um, the wife wanted us to get it. Yeah, keeps telling yourself that. Latch onto that. The wife wanted you to get it. <laughs> Lucky for us, we're able to spice up Go Goblin Go with Mexican trained dominoes because this game, being a solid racing game, was pretty inexpensive. And with that came. Well, let me show you. Thin cardboard dominoes. Really? That's what it came with? <laughs> As you can see, I took these nice solid dominoes and matched all the numbers up to it because in Goblin, Go Goblin Go it doesn't have every combination of dominoes but it had the right ones and the uh, the Mexican train domino so I was fortunate there so I took those and just put them in there and now you have yourself a nice spice bite and look at these things I still keep them I don't know what I'm gonna do with them but I'll do something I of course am a slaver so I spiced up mine from the old days of Magic when I used to play. And I have this guy. His name is Merc. I'll put it up right here. There you go. That's his name. Can't remember. I haven't played Magic in so long. So I was pretty excited to use these sleeves for Go Goblin Go. I actually have a few extras. But what am I going to do with that, really, other than try to spice up this game as a spice bite? Oh, and don't forget the dice. Of course, you have to give yourself a nice dice because it comes with a plain white one. Not too spicy. Spicy? Not too spicy. Spicy? Okay, I'm not going to do it. Sorry. Oh, dang it. Sleeving optional, now you have yourself a spiced up version of Go Goblin Go. And if you really want to get crazy, you can take these little pebbles here and spice them up by taking some of the obsidian, the little rubies from Ink and Gold. But that's another time, another game. Spice Bite! Alright folks, now these two games are going to be the next ingredients in your next Spice Bite. The first game being... The Adventurers, the Temple of Shock, not the Pyramid with the Mummies. This one has the boulder, and that is crucial. I'll get to that. We're going to be spicing Castle Panic up with the Adventure game. And most of us have Castle Panic, and some of us have Adventurers. So if you have the two, you'll be able to make this into a Spice Bite. But if you don't, I do have an alternative, and I'll get to that later. So now let's get to the spicing up of Castle Panic with the adventurers spice, spice. so beyond getting the expansion the wizard's tower to get this gnarly bag and these cool boss cards that are oversized and then you so happen to have bags that fit them kind of and you use scissors to cut them down and alter them to the size that takes too much of your time and you shouldn't have did it anyway we're not going to talk about that we're keeping this down to a small spice, spice. um 
exclusively we're going to be talking about the boulder and maybe the flaming boulder we'll get to that okay so with the boulder if you have the adventurers of uh, the temple again temple of shock i think that's how you say that you can uh, make your boulder scenes in castle panic a little more thematic because we all need that little oomph to make our castle panic experience just that much better don't we okay let's get into upgrading that boulder so so now i'm going to open up the adventures all right so it has a lot of pieces i love this game it's so cool and look at this boulder oh my god one of the coolest components ever made in a game it, it you can't really tran like tell it doesn't translate over uh, through the camera but this weighs at least a good pound and that's just all solid plastic and look it's like a plum it fits right on your thumb i didn't mean for that to rhyme Ugh. i digress so all you need from the adventures is this boulder to make your spice bite come true here we go get the dice yeah I mean just standard red dice but again it just came with one of these white dice so remember not spicy spicy not so spicy okay say like you're playing castle panic right and you got this set up and of course sleeves are optional as always but you have this nice boulder, you take it out of the way, you're about to draw some kind of tile out of this cool bag. All right, what am I going to draw? What is it going to be? Oh, 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 man, the boulder. Oh, where is it going to hit? Who knows? But, I mean, not only do you get the thrill of rolling the dice to see where the boulder goes. Oh, it's too, oh, an unprotected tower, but it's going to take out one of those imps. But then you get to take the boulder, put it on two, and roll that baby. Oh. Not knocks over a little more than you know you need need it or wanted to, but you can just sit those bad boys back up. But how much thrilling was rolling a boulder than just taking one of these things and just kind of going a shoom right on, right? Spice bite. Now as for the flaming boulder, well, uh, <laughs> this is a family show, so we're gonna try to improvise without using butane or anything like that. So say you just have these little tokens here, and instead of rolling, just take it like, oh no, flaming, knock over, kill ogre, and tower, and stuff, and flame, and catch on fire, uh, everyone die. Bad news. So that's how you can do the flaming boulder. Cool, right? Spice, spice. And as you've seen when I was spicing up this game, I used the rock as a special ingredient. Um, so say you don't have the adventurers you can go out and meet up with any kid that's walking around on the streets because i mean there are kids all the time in the streets and rocks are all the rage so just give a kid about i don't know ten dollars or so and he'll give you one of these nice rocks and that's what i started with before i got the adventure so note this is a nice rock all the rage with today's youth spice, spice. And that's how you do two spice bites with the theme of you gotta have a game to make a game. Now, this spice up is really inexpensive. Again, ten dollars for this rock. Really, psych. I'm joking. Um, you can really, if you want to get a rock, uh, you can get it from a hobby store for nothing. Uh, and adventurers is it's it's a pretty pricey game, but I'm glad I have it. Uh, so you necessarily don't have. Uh, game to do the boulder, but if you do have it, it's quite a great component to um, spice up your castle panic. And with Go Goblin Go, it was an inexpensive game. I found it on Amazon for cheap, um, and that's why some of the components aren't as, you know, quality as you would like in a game. But I bought this Mexican train dominoes game because my wife suggested that she wanted to learn it, and I still am puzzled and scratching my head and kicking myself wondering why I bought this game. I get to spice up Go Goblin Go, which is a, a surprise hit. The, it's a nice racing game, and I do expect to get 
the review done for all f uh, three of these games in the future. Not this one. This is a bad game. Stay far away. Not spicy. All right, folks. So that concludes our segment of Spice Up Your Life. And again, my name is David Earls, and thank you so much for watching Spice Up Your Life here on Game Vine. And uh, if there's a game that you would like spiced up yourself, just leave it here in the comments, and I'll do my best to spice up as much as I possibly can. Thanks again, guys, for watching Game Vine, and enjoy the rest of your day and all that you play. I'm out. Spice, spice!